Okay. Hi Tim, I'm uh, really pleased to meet you. It's great to be here in New York and to, to meet you after seeing everything I've heard on, and read about you on the internet. Um, it's been a great opportunity to spend the day with you today. Um, how have you found it? <laughs> Surreal. Um, <laughs> I can say certainly that your videos were a big inspiration, a big help for me when I started. Um, I started learning foreign languages. Why, well, thank you. <laughs> so I think. Well, no, it's true. So I, I think. Um, yeah. No, today has been fantastic. I've really enjoyed it. We've obviously we've been walking around the city with uh, a cameraman and, and and being filmed speaking different languages, and yeah, it's been really. It's been a really interesting and also a bit, yeah, like you say, surreal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> time and experience, especially, you know, me flying halfway across the world to, to come here as well. It's, um, it's been, wow, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. But I, I've been really impressed with the way you're so into, especially the, the Middle Eastern languages. You know, that seems to be your biggest passion. Would you agree? And how did that start? Yeah, I, well, I would agree, primarily. I think, well, I started with Hebrew, mm -hmm. um, which I, I learned to a relative degree of fluency. Mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe after six months or so, I was very comfortable with the uh, you know with general conversations. I didn't have to read subtitles, and uh, that was mostly my own work. And then I also had a tutor who uh, kind of bolstered my learning process along okay. the way. And then from Hebrew, I went into Arabic. Right. And then Arabic for me really opened up uh, the door to all the the languages and cultures of that part of the world. Yeah. So I think the same way that once you learn Latin, you have the the basis of most Romance languages. Yeah. And many other languages for that matter. Um, in the, same, in the same manner, the Arabic lexicon extends to languages throughout the world. Yeah. So I think, uh, for me, Arabic was that, that key to getting into languages. Yeah, it certainly does open doors. I think when now I'm studying Turkish, um, there are a lot of Arabic words that have come, <coughs> come into Turkish. And some of them you see even in, in Macedonian, which I, I use at home all the time. And I'm seeing these bridges across the nations and across the continents. Um, and from what we've spoken about today, you know, you, you've mentioned examples too, so I guess you've seen the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the one, the one that I, I told you earlier, for example, I said the Arabic word for news. Yeah. Khabar, akhbar in the plural. Yeah. Becomes, among other things, haber, or haberler in Turkish. Yeah. Habari in Swahili. Labari in Hausa in West Africa. Khibir in Wolof. Mm -hmm. uh, Ekbar in Hindi. Khabar in Persian. Kabar in Indonesian. So I, I think that's really interesting, finding the, the connections between these cultures that are otherwise quite removed and quite disparate from one another. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, and it's, it's this kind of thing that, that I guess motivates me, it most motivates me and I think it motivates you too. Because you, you seem, you're so energized and so, I don't know, you, you seem so, so full of life when you're talking about these things. <laughs> and you're, you're, it really animates you, you're, you're really into it. You're, you're, our driver, just to sort of share this, was uh, from, from Morocco, wasn't he? Um, and you were you were speaking with him, uh, you know, with real ease in, in Arabic. And my sort of studies of Arabic are, you know, you're way lower. So I've not done as, as much as you, but um, I have done a little bit of Arabic, and I've I spent some time in some Arabic speaking countries. And it's it was amazing to me. I was I was listening to you speak, and it sounded really good. Not that I'm an expert, of course, in Arabic. But how did you how did you really get into Arabic, and how did you get to be able to speak it and practice it? Question. I think um, I got into the habit with Arabic very quickly of wanting to translate every single thing that I could hear. Mm -hmm. um, so if I if I were to hear a specific phrase in a movie or just in the news, yeah. I'd get into the habit of, of translating that twenty four seven. Right. So once you do that, I feel like it's much easier to remember vocabulary because you have a certain context mm -hmm. to it. And then after that, I think I think you find that after X conversations, it just it begins to flow naturally, like yeah. like any language. I mean, I can say certainly that I did have a, a leg up because I had studied Hebrew beforehand yeah. and had a pretty good grasp of that. But at the same time, I think like any language, it just comes with a lot of practice. And I'm still, to be fair, very very far away from perfect in terms of pronunciation. So I'm very but good when I, when I hear you. <laughs> no, you sound very good when I hear you speaking. And you know, as I say, I'm not an expert, but but you, you know, it's not. To me, this sort of shockingly clear um, American accent that, that I hear when you're speaking in well, most of the languages that I've heard you speak today, I've not heard this this accent. Not that I again, not that I'm an expert in the field to be able to comment properly, but um, it also I remember you did um, 
you did you did some Chinese on on the radio, and it was it wasn't very, there wasn't very much in it, and um, and you know they only asked you very basic questions. Mm -hmm. But today I heard you really communicating in Chinese, and not only were you speaking, okay, it wouldn't have been perfect. Who's perfect? You know, we're not we're not from China. You've not been dedicating your whole right. life to learning Chinese, and you, you're still learning the language. But you were communicating with somebody who spoke in Chinese back to you, and and, and I witnessed, you know, how you how you did this. Um, when when you know when you see people, obviously, that pe some people may criticise if you get something wrong. How, how does that make you feel? I mean, you, is, there, is there anything that you would you would say to, to that when people say things? I mean, I think you probably have more to say on the matter, considering you've been around a lot longer. Um, I don't know. In general, I think it's, you know, if 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 I always love getting feedback, especially, and that was the yeah. main reason that I, I started my channel in the first place. And I think um, as much, I mean, as far as criticism goes, it's something that you obviously have to deal with all the time. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't really, uh, I don't take it to heart. And also, I tend not to, I don't really like looking at the. Uh, Lots of <laughs> forum posts about me, unless there's really something atrocious being said. Um, so no, in general, I, I think that it's just something you, you you get along with, and if it makes you stronger, if it you know doesn't yeah. affect you, then so what. I've got to say, I mean, the level of maturity that you've shown today really, uh, I think, is an inspiration in its own right, and I think that the level of language that you've achieved and what you've done with with the time you've had on this planet has been remarkable. So I mean, I, I really applaud you for for what you've done, and I think you you know you're you're out there really promoting languages and and, and giving a positive image of a young student studying languages as best as you can, and, and I think that's fantastic. And so you know, I really hope to see more of you, and uh, I'm glad that the media's picked somebody like you that that can really you know, wave the flag uh, for for other language learners and polyglots and uh, I think it's fantastic. So well, I'd you. like to thank you for that. Well, thank you. I mean, you know that... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know that... <laughs> All of this, I mean, you are the, the king of this. So well, to speak, I... I think. <laughs> in my opinion, at least. <laughs> no, I mean, you and Luca especially being the ones that I've, I've met in person. Mm -hmm. It is inspiring and it's great that you know, we can make these sort of connections and I hope to have a lot more. Yeah, definitely. Well, we'll, we'll definitely. I hope there's a lot you can teach me as well. well I'm sure there is. There, there, there are there are one or two things you can teach me too. So uh, we'll uh, we'll keep those lines of communications open. <laughs> okay.